me. Watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. But that prank never works. Oh, but must leave you this go. I'm gonna get another hat. Hey everyone, so the other day I was playing my Rocky and Bullwinkle pinball machine and I noticed something was up with one of the pop bumpers. It seemed like the left pop bumper was, was not responding, it was, uh, you know, recording the hit but it wasn't triggering the coil that kicks the ball back out away from the bumper. So I think what we'll do next is we'll pop this thing into diagnostic mode and uh, take a look at the switches and the coil test to see uh, what could be the problem. So we'll start by opening the coin door while we leave the machine turned on and we actually want to hit that black button to put it into diagnostic mode. So as we work through diagnostic mode there's a few different things we want to check and one of the first things is going to be looking at the play field status to make sure that there's no error messages or warnings that we need to take care of. And then the next thing we'll do is we're going to go do an active switch test. Now before we can do the switch test we probably have to pull the glass off so we're going to do that really quick. We'll pull off the lock bar, set that down, get our coin door closed so we can pull off the glass. Just grab it gently, slide it off the machine, being careful not to scratch it up or leave it hanging off the uh, edge before it's totally out. And we'll get that out of the way uh, in a safe place so we don't break it. So now we're going to take a look at the switch test. So we're hitting the switch and we see that it actually is registering the switch test. So I think uh, we're okay there. My next suspicion is probably that we're going to want to look at that coil. So we're going to go into the coil test. We can actually cycle through the different coils. So we want to get over to the left pop coil test and we're going to hit the button to trigger that coil and we see that it's not firing. So we'll go test the other pop bumpers really quick so the center pop seems to be working okay and then we're going to go up and we're going to take a look at the top pop bumper and again that as well is is working okay so we want to basically pull the play field up so we're going to want to eject the balls there's a little lever under the play field over by the ejector so you can hit that and pop your balls out and then we're going to want to lift the play field so we will tip that back and there's actually a little chain on the bottom that hooks onto the back of the play field and then to the bottom of the cabinet and that'll keep your play field from falling down and hitting you in the head so lock that in and secure it so we're going to take a quick look here now and we see right away that left pop bumper coil there's a wire disconnected so that's our issue so we're going to go ahead and heat up the soldering iron and we are going to go and add a little bit of new solder to that connector just to freshen things up a little. So we get our blob of solder on there and then we're going to go and reattach our wire. So we'll reheat that big blob of solder we just added and get our wire in there and the solder is cool and it looks like it's stuck so we're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to unhook that chain, lower the play field back down into its uh, playing position and we're going to want to test this thing out really quick. So so we're going to drop the, the balls that we uh, removed from the machine. We're going to want to get those back in there real quick. And so we've got one, two, three, and we're going to fire it on. And the machine starts up. There's no error messages, and it's ready to play. So we're going to fire off a ball, and we see right away it's going into the pop bumpers, and that left pop bumper is working great now. Lots of power and it's hitting uh, bang on. So we're going to play for uh, a little bit and just make sure everything else in the game is working okay. Then we're going to go ahead and slide that glass back on. Carefully sliding that back on not to scratch it up and then we'll lock on our lock bar. And click and we're done. So it looks like it was a success so if you guys enjoyed this video and like what we're doing with the Canadian Arcade go ahead and hit that subscribe button.